guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so... We did a lot in the last episode. Battled our boo thing, you know, my... Bianca. Yeah. Somebody talked bad about her, which I'm pretty mad about. Yeah, that was, uh, what's his name? Getsis. Uh, yeah, they still need to teach me how to do, uh, instant transmission. We visited this place, Route 9, and in the Mall 9 and all that stuff, and now... We're going to be going into the next city, the final city right here uh, in the main adventure, Opalicit City. Yes, sir. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. Munch Munch. I heard that a guy with a legendary Pokemon was visiting Opalicit City. Munch Munch. You don't say. Okay, so let's see. What does this have to say right here? It's looking nice. Opalicit City is a famous for its solid security. Really? And let's see, the latest communication network makes life ple pleasant. Okay. And then let's see, we delivered to you what the winds and the waves have brought to us. Drifvale Market. Okay. Alrighty, so let's move on right here. And as you can see, yes, it is May 16th as I'm recording this right here. And here we are, Opalescent City. Now, if you guys are playing Pokemon White, this place will actually look a little bit different from, uh, from what... Pokemon Blacks has it's a little bit it's gonna be a little bit more lighter yeah it's gonna be white instead of black and once you're crossing over here well would you look at that is the champion hello Draven this way oh wow I, I thought he was gonna speak something I don't even know okay get this what a liar desperately trying to con everyone with his speech Oh, damn. Oh, damn. And, and he's just, like, you know, making a huge speech right here. That's correct. Our Lord N has combined his power with the legendary dragon-type Pokemon and intends to create a new world. We herald the return of a hero of Unova, founder of this region. Hero? Dragon? Legend? Okay, all right. So, what the hell is he doing? Pokemon are different from people. They are living beings who contain an unknown potential. He's looking around. Oh, wow. He's going to look at her right there. They are living beings from whom we humans have le much to learn. Okay. They are beings whose greatness we should acknowledge. Beings who should be freed from our op oppression. Freed? Pokemon? The hell? We, Team Plasma, invite you to join us. We all want to create a new world where people and Pokemon are both free. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you now. Please release your Pokemon. How about, how about you read my finger right here? You can't see it, but I'm flipping you off. And so I end my plea to you today. Thank you one and all for your attention. Okay, so they're just leaving and no instant transmission, but these guys are like protecting his ass like if he was the president. Look at that. Somebody's got guarding his back and all that stuff. This is scary. Okay. Is it true? Have we been making Pokemon suffer? Hmm. Maybe we should release our Pokemon, like Team Plasma says. No way. Without Pokemon, I'll be lonely and sad. Alrighty. Okay, so that was that right there. And, uh, well, as you can see right here, what was that speech or what was that about? That speech was off the charts strange. The cooperation of the people and Pokemon is how Unova came to exist to, to begin with. If a Pokemon really didn't want anything to do with humans, it would simply leave. Capturing a Pokemon in a Pokeball doesn't mean you've captured its heart. Hmm, you don't say. Let's go, Draven. Alrighty, so Akuma right here is taking us to both Drayden and Iris. Now, you guys probably already know this. Pokemon Black. Drayden is the gym leader right here in Opalette City. And Pokemon White, uh, Iris is the gym leader there. She's freaking annoying. Whatever. It's been a while, Iris and Drayden. Oh, Mr. Alder! And the guy who helped me out that time. I have a name, you know that, right? What's wrong? What does uh, the wandering champion who left the Pokemon League need from us? Briefly, my request is this. Tell us about the legendary dragon-type Pokemon. Are you talking about Zekrom or Reshram? Uh, what's the sudden, what's the sudden interest? Moments ago, a troublemaker known as Getsis was here. He said a trainer ne named N has reawakened Zekrom. Yes, that's the trainer, or the, that trainer called N apparently told Draven here to search for the uh, other dragon type Pokemon. Let me check that I have, or let me check that I have this straight. 
This N, or what you have, or what have, what have you, presumes to say the two Dragon type Pokemon against each other in battle to test his convictions. Oh no! The Dragon type Pokemon get along so well. That that's right, Iris. The one who makes Pokemon battle, or or the one who makes the Pokemon battle, are the trainers, and it's uh, so that the trainers and the Pokemon can. Uh, can get to know each other better. I'm going to the Pokemon League. No, I guess in this case, I should say I'm returning to the Pokemon League. Of course, I'll defeat N. I'll teach him about the beauty of this world where Pokemon and people, or trainers, live together in harmony. Also, Draven, I'll await for your arrival. Once you've obtained the Opalicid the up uh, badge, come to the League. The Opalicid Gym Leader is tough. Take care. Farewell. I'm counting on you, Draining and Iris. Okay. Alrighty. Alright. Aw, he's gone. Is he okay? He kind of looks scary. Don't worry, Iris. He is the strongest trainer in all of Unova. Not really. Well, Draven, isn't it? Come to my home. As older ass, I'll tell you everything I, I can about the legendary dragon type Pokemon. Iris child, please show him the way. Okay. You bet! If it's a uh, blessed city, I can take you anywhere. As for the story of Zekrom and Reshiram, we'll tell you all we know about it. This way! Okay, so she's gonna be taking us to the place. And, well, let's see. This, that way. Oh, damn. Okay, so she's, it's gonna be that way. Okay, so, I guess we're gonna have to, uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go up there just to talk about the legendary Pokemon. Uh, don't need to heal my Pokemon just yet, because I don't think we're going to be battling anybody. So let's go right ahead and talk to her right now. Oh, she's bouncing up and down. Just a little farther. Okay, and th this is it. Okay, this place looks a little too futuristic right here. Okay, so here are the both gym leaders. I'll explain. What you are holding is the Light Stone. Reshiram, who will likely awaken from the Light Stone, and Zekrom, who is already awake, were once the same Pokemon. That single po uh, Dragon Pokemon, along the twin uh, with twin heroes, brought a new region into being, and people and Pokemon had ha had happy lives. One day, however, the twin heroes, the older brother who sought the truth, and the younger brother who sought ideals began to argue about the uh, how to decide which one of them was right. The single dragon type Pokemon had, that had been with them all the time split into split his body into two. And the other with the other okay, so one sided with the older brother and the other with the younger brother. In its pursuit of ideals, the black dragon Pokemon sought the uh, to usher in a new a new and better world. Its name is Zekrom. And the other, the white dragon type Pokemon, saw truth and to usher in a new world, a world of good. Its name was Reshiram. Because the two of them were once the same entity, their battle raged endlessly, and neither one could be declared the winner. They simply exhausted themselves. The twin heroes proclaimed that there was no one side that was right, and ceased the conflict. But, but... The two hero sons uh, started the battle again, and the instant, and an instant later, Zekrom and Reshiram were were destroyed. Unova with lightning and fire. Oh damn! They then they disappeared. But but if people work with Pokemon in uh, the right way, we don't have to worry. Uh, well, we don't have to worry anymore about the Pokemon or the world being destroyed. I mean, Zekrom and Reshiram worked hard for everyone, and made a new region. So it should be all right, I think. Hmm, true. Pokemon cannot speak. People may hurt Pokemon even more by imposing their selfish thoughts on them. But no matter what, Pokemon and people believe in each other, need each other, and will continue to live together. Yeah! So, I never, I'm never, i never going to forgive Team Plasma for trying to separate Pokemon and us. Sorry. We got a little, uh, a little off topic at the end. That's everything we know. Unfortunately, we don't know how to wake up the legendary Pokemon. Really? I thought you were the gym leader. I thought you were like a pro or something. I really thought you were a, a, a super pro right here. I made a promise to Alder. You must win the gym badge from the Opalicid City at Pokemon Gym. Draven, I'll be waiting for the for your challenge at the Pokemon Gym. 
Okay, so like I said before, Pokemon Black, Drayden is the gym leader. Pokemon White, this new sense right here. Yeah, she is uh, the gym leader there. Anywho, let us move on right now. And, well, this is Opalescent City right now. And, well, let's just take a small tour and then just call it a day right here. So, Trainer Tips, Mayor Drayden will teach you if you recognize you as a strong trainer. Visit his home to learn the most powerful dragon type move. Huh, you don't say. You don't say. Okay, so that homeboy will actually help you out later on, too. And, well, we're going to be visiting some houses. You know what? I'm a huge musical fan. Oh, you have a prop case. You must, uh, you must, uh, you must be a huge musical fan, too. Would you like a new prop to use your musical? Yes, let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, what, what do you have? Yes, we get ourselves a gift, a gift box. And let's see, uh, no what? I'm a mu huge musical fan, it come tomorrow. Oh yeah, he's gonna give us musical items every single day, so that's gonna be freaking awesome. 63, 64, oh, I was counting all the, uh, the kinds of props uh, for musicals. I think there are about 100 different kinds. Are there props in musical, in, like in the, in, the, in the contest? Are there? Are you serious? I don't even know. Okay, so, uh, got a little off topic there myself. Let's go right ahead and talk to more people right here. This is just between you and me, okay? I'm really not a very good trainer. So I think Team Plasma might have to the right idea when they take Pokemon away from weak trainers. I do feel sorry for the people who were robbed, though. Don't tell this story to the guy on the opposite side. Huh. Okay, and this is between you and me, okay? I used to be part of Team Plasma. But, it, but it's strange when everyone around you thinks the same way, isn't it? So I left Team Plasma to think for myself about what I want to do. Don't tell this story to the guy on the opposite side. So they both have like skeleton on their in their closets right here. It's pretty freaking awesome. And well, let us move on right now. Right here, let's see. Uh, is there anything else that we can actually find right here? No way, without Pokemon I'll be too lonely and sad. But I'm only using Pokemon then, okay so whatever. And I think if you go up right here, yes, you will be able to find the gym, and, uh, let's see. Legendary Pokemon is a symbol of Unova. Does that mean Team Plasma is right? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But here is the Opalescent City gym. And, of course, Drayden is the, the mayor of this whole town right here. So, like I said early on in the, this whole adventure right here, you'll... Every single trainer, gym leader, will have some kind of, like, uh... Some kind of occupation of some sort. Now, if you talk to this guy, the rotation uh, battle house where you can have rotation battle is next door. Uh, yeah, I am not going over there. Screw that. Whether or not you're troubled by the Pokemon uh, move attract, take this. And we get ourselves the Destiny Knot. Which, of course, uh, will actually, let's see. When a Pokemon is holding Destiny Knot, it is affected by the m move attract. The move, uh, the opponent will also fall in love. So it's also a trap right there. Very, very trap. A very good trap right there. So let's go right ahead and uh, see if we can get some more free shit right around here. And it doesn't matter if we win or lose as long as we have Pokemon with us. Okay. You need to have eight gym badges to challenge the Pokemon League. However, even with such skills, it's hard to defeat the Elite Four who are waiting. You don't say. Okay. So let's get the heck out of here and. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go right... Okay, so that's the rotation house. The rotation battle house, which I will not be going to, because screw that. Uh-uh. Do not want to battle anybody right now. And let's see, if you talk to this guy. Hey, hey, the person called N had a legendary Pokemon with him. So he was, uh... He has to be legendary hero, right? He's going to change the world, isn't he? Not real. Not really. I mean, he's kind of a weird dude. But he's a pretty cool dude, too. He's got pretty cool hair, you know, that kind of stuff. So let's go right ahead and talk to this chick right here. Ah, you're Samurott. Looks like I could try a little harder. What? Are you serious? Doesn't like me? What the? Okay, never mind. Uh, the more the city, d the city develops, the more futuristic it will become. I'm sure of this. I want to grow up quickly. No, you don't. You really don't. Time will go by faster and, uh, yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna wonder where has the time gone? Trust me, guys. I'm close to 30, and uh, you don't want that. I want to return to the past. I want many things. Uh, I want to do many things over again. My father, Bach, created a machine to to see the future. I'm making a machine to connect with the past, but I don't have enough electricity. I've heard in another world that there's a another opalescent city that looks very old timey. 
If there is a Pokemon from the world that knows uh, Move Charge, the machine may work. If you are able, would you be willing to lead and lend me a Pokemon like that? Uh, I do have a... Wait, do I have a Pokemon with Charge? Okay, so maybe later I, I can actually help him out right there. I heard that my father and... Eh, my father had a fight with my grandpa Bach a long, long time ago. Okay. Like Johann Sebastian Bach or something like that? The, the, the musical guy or something like that? I don't even know. Okay, so let's see. Uh, talk to this guy if all Pokemon release are traded. Yeah, okay, so that's nothing right there. So we're going to stop right here, guys. It's been pretty fun. Awesome. All that crud. And, uh, well, in the next episode, we will be battling for the final gym battle or gym badge. And, yeah, hopefully we progress even more in this whole walkthrough right here. Hopefully. I don't even know. So I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> see you guys.